Iceman50 here. Uh, so, uh, I made a video earlier about my little uh, pocket scope, the little Wave 2 that I made. You saw me make that the other day, this guy. Uh, and then I was telling you about the piece of test equipment that goes along with that, which I, I have in this box. Um, we're going to try to look at this board and uh, we're going to use this to see if we can figure out if there's any any bad parts on here. So this is what I was talking about. This is my parts tester. I got a little maybe pelican case or whatever. And uh, so inside here is the box that I made. And you're like, oh, great. What is it? So we've got spots for the probes here. We've got our, our probies, right? So we got our probes and uh, they go in here. So black to black, right? red to red, okay? And then we plug this guy into AC. Um, there's just a transformer and some resistors and, and stuff in here. Uh, I'll have to uh, pretty share the schematic with you guys. Uh, I'll put it on the screen at some point here in editing. So it's just plug it in. I got a nice lighted switch. So the other two things on here, these are limo jacks, um, but um, that goes to some to some cables, right? That's why limo is so convenient because uh, you can switch back and forth between uh, the limo end, and then you can add on uh, adapters for uh, BNC. So all we do is we take our scope, right? Put one channel on here and the other channel on here, right? And then we'll set uh, this aside because we won't need it. And we'll set the box aside because we won't need that as well. So you get your box here. I just usually stick it over here somewhere. Now oh, you guys remember this thing? The What's Up Pro. I, uh, <laughs> I fixed it for it. I guess I don't know. I guess I didn't want it anymore, so uh, he tossed it. But I, I went back and saved it from the trash, and I'll just use it on my bench here. It's kind of a handy thing to have. So it'll tell me how much juice as things are drawing. It's pretty pretty convenient, like when I'm fixing van packs and stuff. Uh, so, all right. So on here, this is channel one or Y, which is the, the first one. Now, you know, it's funny. I I marked this. But I think one doesn't go to one anymore. Two goes to one. I may have to just wipe this off and put new Sharpies on there. But you want, you want the, um, let's turn it on. You, you want the uh, output <clears throat> of, the, uh, of the scope to be horizontal. And then when you short the leads together here, you want it to go vertical. I'll show you uh, what I'm talking about. So. I need to build a little, now I need to build a little stand for this. Uh, all right, so let me, uh, oops. Let me, we're gonna zoom in on, uh, on this here. I'm trying to get it so that you also don't get a reflection. course when I go to uh, turn it on what, is, what the heck is going on here is the battery dying or what um, hang on. so it should be a, a you can kind of see there's a there's a line here right and then when I touch them together see how I get a vertical line so uh, now if you want to I'll just I got some some junk here here's a some capacitors and some resistors um, so what we can see is if I go across a capacitor um, now this can be in circuit you can do this in or out of circuit so okay so now you can see this is called a Lizardu pattern and um, it's a representation in voltage and current um, of devices of components so capacitors are circles right resistors are lines angled lines you see how uh, 
and you have to constantly mess with the uh, you have to constantly mess with the uh, um, you see it's showing it's like at an angle well it's straight up and down but it's it's actually not if we if you look it's it's at an angle so that's a resistor um, so anyways um, Let's get down to finding some, some parts on here. Uh, yeah, so maybe what I'll do is I'll show you guys like, um, like we'll look at, I know these are the uh, uh, transistors. There's a, there was a kit for this. This is for a TV. This is a power supply for a TV. And um, so uh, a friend of mine asked me to, uh, to look at it. And so uh, that's what we're gonna do. So we've got our we got our parts tester here, right? And I'm just gonna you just go across it, you know, kind of like you use a multimeter, right? You got the multimeter leads, and you just go across the, the different pins. Like I said, you can do this in circuit, which is pretty cool. So you my X-ray goggles. here and we'll find these transistors so there's, there's two of them 907 no d120 and d907 interesting so they i don't know if they're diodes or transistors but it doesn't matter we'll uh we'll go across here and ooh. I mean, it looks like a short, right? So there's a few, <laughs> here's another thing. It's not working. Like I said, here's a fuse wrapped in uh, heat shrink. <laughs> let's, uh, let's get out the old uh, exacto. Safety third. And let's uh, cut into this thing. Let's find that fuse, here we go. that I would do this first is, you know, it could be just a fuse. Oh my God. I don't know, this is kind of hokey, everybody. This, why did you heat shrink a fuse? I mean, I guess, but it's kind of weird. Yeah, I want to show you this, how this thing works. There you go. So that's, that's like a diode. Um, let me zoom in again. Can see that. That's what a diode looks like. It's, you know, got like one knee or two knees. The transistors will have, you know, kind of like this one. Anyway, so you can see, that's how we know. This part's good, like I said, in circuit. I can I can quickly uh, I can quickly go across here and go yep oh interesting primary yeah now you see that's a capacitor and a diode together it's interesting that this one's this one's not showing it it's just showing a circle which means capacitance. So we got here. Here's an actual transistor. Yeah, see? There's you can see the two knees. Right? You go across the all the legs. Now see how that's got like a funny a funny leg that, that may be alright or it may not. So, you know, with transistors you go to the outside, you know, you do all the combos. You're looking for any shorted leg. You know, if you see this, it's toast. So uh, something T4 H2 Oh, 250 volt. So I'm thinking, I'm thinking it's a four amp. So let's, uh, let's use our parts tester here and see what we get. Oh, we get a straight line, which means that the fuse is working. So it ain't the fuse. <clears throat> so we know that. So uh, I can put this. We can put that back in there. I'll, I'll 
do that at the end. Huh. Like that looks okay. But I don't know, they kinda they kinda look the same. Although there's some gross looking stuff like over here, um, like over in this area, it looks kind of, kind of yucky. You see that? Anywho, I told you I would show you a video how the uh, parts tester works. Uh, pretty cool. So I, I knew that it was going to work with with my with my box and everything. So uh, yeah, this is how I sometimes figure out how how to fix things. Right? You got to have a little bit of help. So, every now and then. All right, everybody. Thanks for uh, coming along. We'll see you in the next one. Easy.